All right, boom. Hello, May. I hope you're enjoying your drive to work today. Uh, hopefully you haven't been fired and have to resort to, I don't know, living off of welfare. Uh, this is episode 11 with my new, and when I say new, I mean incredibly old. I've done it for like, oh God, five or since six years Since he was 12. Now? Yeah, since I was 12, probably. I don't know how old I am now. I guess 17. Uh, my dear friend Adam from New Zealand. Zealand, not old Zealand. Yeah, they got rid of New that Zealand. shit. It, it's Hi, May. I hope yeah. you're having a good day. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully not. All right. May May's out there defending Hello, May. the United States, building fucking rockets to fire at people. She's a Sick. a destroyer of worlds. Anyway, so you said there was a, there was something you want to talk about on the podcast. I was like, fuck it, we'll just start recording now. Well, no, no. Austin was saying that he wants to, he doesn't know when he wants to leave California, but he doesn't know where he wants to go. Oh, so okay. I was gonna Perfect. dive into that. Yeah, Austin. I. Uh, Basically, Austin, California what are your just aspirations, sucks. my dear friend? I, you can't ask me that, dude. Yeah, I don't know can. what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> well, I just did. Yeah, oh, I need, shit. I start, don't start aspiring right now, motherfucker. Give me, give me, give me one aspiration you have. I all I know is I want to like my end goal is mm. to end up in the Pacific Northwest in like Washington or Oregon. <laughs> Jesus, um, come on, you could do better than that. What do you mean? I want to that, end up in a state. Yeah, I would like yeah, to end up that's... north somewhere. Is, that was your aspiration? Well, pretty much. You can I don't do that know. right now. I you can just start to... marching. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm stupid. I, I'm i just here. Now, I don't think stupid is part of it, right? Because like, I'm sure a lot of dumb motherfuckers have a lot of aspirations, right? Yeah. There's, there's yep. probably some fucking really dumb motherfuckers that are like, oh, today I would like to pick up nine rocks. They look cute, you know. <laughs> I completed my aspiration. Exactly. That's that is a t yeah. So uh, other than just vaguely heading north and west of your current location, <laughs> do you have any other aspirations? Uh, to own a little bit of land and have goats. I don't know okay. why. I just really goats. want goats. What? What? Yeah. What's so goats? goats fucking stink, dude. They the, like Millie. Now I'm gonna. I don't know NZ slang, but I'm gonna assume stink is not a good thing to <laughs> to aspire towards. Um, I would say that having goats is a pretty low ball aspiration. Listen, why am I just catching stray bullets and just getting oh, shit on? My yeah. aspirations are much, and then you they just multiply. It's like, oh my god, and now I've got seven goats. Yeah, so I mean, like if that's your goal, man, you're in for a winner. Like, so go you. Have, you got to set your expectations low so you don't get disappointed. Yeah, I mean, but seven see, goats. For me, it's not my approach with life. Yeah. <laughs> Just set a really low goal, knowing you can't achieve it. Like, I mean, yeah, uh, that, exactly. that is a way to keep, you know, keep your spirits up. Just always, just nailing. The, like, yeah, my goal. I'm fucking smashing. Yeah, it. I was yeah. hoping to put pants on today, and I knocked that one out of the fucking park. Oh I'm God. just like, wait, 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 what are your Got goals, out of Timmy? Go me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, Sorry, Austin, I feel like this has become like a bit of a hit on you. Listen, yeah, what the fuck is going on here? I, I love you, buddy. Uh, I hope that you don't go to the Pacific Northwest to actually fuck your aspirations, because that, that cucks my aspirations of of forming my giant cul-de-sac that we all live together on. Yeah, Dylan just wants me to move out there. Well, to clarify. He wants you to uh, leave. I want everyone to move to just wherever I am. I don't... It isn't just you, right? I, I, everyone listening, most people, some of the people listening to this podcast, I would love to come move to, you know, wherever the fuck I am. Well, yeah, I was going to say I everyone, the and then I was going to get like <laughs> nine people that I don't want to move into my cul-de-sac, but I can't wait until we have the fucking, you know, Dylan cul-de-sac foundation for a better life. And then I'm like, no, you're not part of that. You can live in the block. You got a, like seven or nine houses down the road, but not in the cul-de-sac. That's reserved. Yeah. The cold a sec. Yeah, that that's like my actual life aspiration is like buying out an entire like fucking like fifteen houses or whatever in like a nice little neighborhood and just like forcing my friends to live near me. So I'm, I'd like uh, get so my company. Can't get away. Yeah, I'd do like make a very successful company so I can afford to move around and give them jobs that will sustain them. What's that film that came out recently? It's about like um fuck. Damn it! Um, it's about. Did you say tune? Film, a movie, oh, film. That okay. Came out recently, and it's like uh, that's just like a similar premise to that. There's like a whole lot of people that are just living in this little society, Could and there's this dude you. who's keeping them there. Fuck. Um. Sounds more like a no prison idea. camp. One moment, yeah. <laughs> Top films. This is outstanding. Yeah, I mean. 
I, I couldn't fucking tell you a movie that came out this year that isn't like the Batman. And then beyond that, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, but I, I couldn't fucking name. I don't think I can name a movie that I've seen that wasn't a shitty like superhero movie in the last like five fucking years. I have just stopped going to the movies. And it sucks. I've not been to the movies in a long time. I yeah. Every time I go to the movies, I'm reminded that I love the fucking movies. Oh, it's great. I went actually. No, I went to uh, Top Gun Maverick. There you go. There you go. That was very nice. It's a plain um, movie. Like real American, but <laughs> it's good. Fast. Yeah, it, it is crazy <laughs> that the first Top Gun is literally just like the United States government was like, "Can, can you like?" Just make a recruitment video that's completely irrelevant of any actual service you'll be doing in the Air Force. And they're like, absolutely. And they had Kenny Loggins write the song Danger Zone. I didn't know that it was made for that movie. So I was always listening oh, yeah. to it like, oh, like, this is a euphemism for sex. I understand. No, it's it's about jets. It's made for the movie. It's about, yeah, it's about planes. Uh, the movie Danger Zone? I've not seen it. Oh, sorry. So it's the no, song. The, the song. It's by okay. Kenny Loggins, where it's like, you know, revving up your engine. Yeah. yeah. Listen to your howl and yeah. roar. And it's like, oh, okay. This is like, you know, we're talking about a nice young lady sex drive. No, it's a jet engine. It's about a plane. It's just planes. There's flying planes. Oh, okay. It's dreamy. So. I think that, there's a lot of That's just like any song. film study for you, right? Like, when uh, people are like, oh my God, the curtain was blue. What does it mean? Like, no, it's, it's, it's just a fucking blue curtain. The director curtain, was bro. like, fuck, it's like, <laughs> I guess this house is blue curtain, so I guess we'll just we'll film it. Who cares? The lights are fine on it. Let's go. I, I like how. Um, like there's, oh, there's a good amount of songs that are made specifically for movies that become like outside of just that movie. Like uh, that one Charlie Puth song uh, from when I'm Paul Walker test you, died. Man. Austin, there's a good amount of songs. So you name three of them. <laughs> yeah, I was going to okay. let him just slide <laughs> with one. Each, I can I can name two, but like see you yeah. again by Charlie Puth. Uh, oh, that's the that Goonies song are good is? enough. Yeah, yeah, that was that was written for Fast good and Furious. Song. Okay. Uh, and then the Goonies are good enough by Cindy Lauper, written for the Goonies. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have different watching two, preferences, but okay. It was good enough. Yeah. Fine. And then we'll, we'll we'll throw in Danger Zone. I'll give you three. Any there. of like in any of the James Bond ones would work. You know, Skyfall. Yeah, um, Skyfall, I've yeah. seen zero of those movies. Uh, no time to die, Billy Eilish. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just yeah. never seen them. I read on. Um, I read. I, I, I did read. I can. Um, on Reddit the other day. Thanks. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I got taught that in a school in New Zealand. Nice. Um, you don't learn that. New Zealand. Um, that uh, there's a portion of the population that can't visualize or yes. don't have a voice in their head. Yes. I've heard of that um, too. And there's actually a word for it. Retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word for it. I think it's the one. No, I'm um, absolutely positive that's the word. Every person I've talked to where they're like, yeah, I know, I can't like, th there's no internal monologue is someone that I consider a fucking moron. Eventually someone who's not a moron will tell me and then I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. But There's a word for it though. Fuck. Yeah, it's brain dead is... No, Aphantasia. I yeah. Explain it. Say it again. It's a nice word. Aphantasia. Aphantasia. Yeah. So that's just a euphemism for dumb as fuck, I guess. <laughs> is the, I wonder if it's any really famous people who have aphantasia. Probably not, unless they're famous for being like <laughs> not good at <laughs> breathing <laughs> properly. Oh my god. I just love how that there's like the two sides it's the of the spectrum. <laughs> You've oh, got you've got aphantasia where nobody like you you hear nothing and then you have uh, schizophrenia where you hear Base. too many people talking. Voices. <laughs> it's like no, there's only one, and we all have it. Is there like um? No, we don't all have it. Aren't there are some? Yeah, well, yeah, according to what we just said, yeah, you're right. Yeah, granted, I don't. I, it's hard for my brain. Do those like... people not get like intrusive thoughts? No, I'm sure they do, but they're probably like concepts more so like, like a shape yeah yeah well so in our head like you know your brain is like you know fucking touch the stove i bet it's neat in their head i'm sure it's like yeah. a very rudimentary concept <laughs> like, just like a sketch of a dude putting yes. his hand on the <laughs> yeah like i don't know there yeah, are motherfuckers out there just raw dogging life no fucking internal monologue like the most npc behavior of all time <laughs> but some of them aren't like i um i uh, on the same Reddit post, this could be entirely fictitious, but yeah, whatever. It is, 100%. This guy was like, 
I I can read pretty fast because I just look at the page and the words and I don't read the words. Like when you guys read, like I, I fucking hate this so much. When I'm reading a book, I'll be saying the words in my head and I don't know if that's a stupid thing or if that's normal, mm-hmm. but it really bothers me because it slows my reading down because I can read the words faster than I can say them in my head. Yeah. So this guy, he's not limited that by that because he can't say the words in his head. So he just like, he just looks at the page and absorbs He's like, oh, I got the idea. Well, that guy's a liar, <laughs> okay. first of all. He's on Reddit. He's just lying. Um, but, well, um, yeah. I, so I kind of, I'm like on both sides of that spectrum where it's like, um, I can just look at a page and like, like and retarded. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, I have moments <laughs> of non-retardation um, where like, I, I can look at a page and like read it really fucking fast and absorb the information. But there are some times where if I'm reading for a long time, I just start like, saying the words in my head and then i get distracted saying the words in my head and i absorb zero of the information that i've read and i'm like yeah that's, Fuck, just, I have, that's just adhd <laughs> i have to go back and reread that because i spent too long listening to the words in my head as opposed to absorbing the knowledge of the words i was reading so you have adhd casper i i do yeah okay i just Dreamy. i can't sit still good job I feel like, it's I feel... like it must be easy to get diagnosed in america with adhd Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. I think you just show up. Over like, here, like, it's a it's a, a lot like a problem for a lot of people, but getting a psychiatrist to actually give you a prescription or and diagnosis is fucking difficult. Yeah, I think doctors do in America. Like, yeah, fuck, you're kind of like bouncy. Yeah. He's, like, <laughs> yeah. he's 11. Like, did you, yeah, did you zone out in this conversation? It's like, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> it's a matter of all. It's, like, it's just like when uh, before weed was legalized for like recreational use and it was only medical use, there was yeah. like quote unquote doctors where you would walk into a room and yeah. there's an iPad and there's an iPad with a doctor and you just go, I can't sleep. And he goes, you know what would help that weed? And yeah. then you get your med, your med card. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of like a no liberalization. Okay. Hey, hell yeah, brother. Um, I say as someone who doesn't do any drugs or even consume alcohol, hell yeah, brother. I'm all for it though. You, you should be able hey, to walk you, in to a doctor's office and be like, man, my knee hurts. I need some crack. And then he's like, She's like, absolutely. I, we've got just the cure for you, buddy. Um, the the older I get, the more people I meet that do hard drugs, and the more I am just reaffirmed in my stance of like, thank God I just like water a lot. Thank God that's my <laughs> drug of choice. Because I'll, I'll like H two O baby. I remember talking to this girl and her explaining to me like what a K hole was, and just being <laughs> like a K hole. It's where you do a bunch of ketamine and you just like ketamine. you're fucking gonzo, bro. Like that's sick. That's the fucking just a, a ketamine bender. Yeah. And just her explaining, oh, like, oh yeah, like <laughs> so like what I will do for like oftentimes a weekend of fun is uh, I will take just get fucked on ketamine. So many drugs that I can't move. I cease having the ability to lift any part of my body. I am literally just laying in a bed, staring at the ceiling, and I'm like, oh, well, like, you know. It's a party inside my brain. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, my, my thought is, like, so the, where my brain immediately goes is, like, okay, cool. Like, is there, like, are you being creative while this is happening? Is there, like, a lot going on inside your brain in terms of, like, thinking? It's like, no. No, I just kind of sit there and chill out, and it's like, what the fuck? Like, you just spend, like, 24 hours just, like, doing nothing it, it can't be cheap as well you know like shit. oh it absolutely you're, you're, you're like i've been stealing it or America, right? so you're for drugs. likely gonna get fucking fentanyl in your hell whatever yeah. you're taking so i'm having a much better time <laughs> enjoy death i guess um, yeah it is like can someone explain to me why fentanyl is like a cool thing to put in your drugs as a drug dealer like uh, it's, it's not it's cheap it's just cheaper it's cheaper and, yeah why is fentanyl yeah, no, but so like, cheap? If we're talking about, like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a question for Google, my friend. So, like, like some things make sense, right? Like, if you're cutting your Coke with, like, fucking flour or something, right? Like, this makes sense as a drug dealer. You're like, okay, cool. Like, I, I can now sell more cocaine. If you're cutting your shit with fentanyl, you're increasing your chance of being able to sell less of your drug by virtue of you're just going to axe your fucking clientele. So it's just... I mean, yes, yes, and no. It's it can be it. It's dependent on like how much said person takes. Like if they're 
if it's a very 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 small dosage it's not gonna like they're not gonna even notice but if if there's a a, a little over a certain amount they just die yeah i mean i'm also these are also drug dealers that i'm trying to empathize and understand and their <laughs> profession is selling drugs so i probably can't like grasp my mind around any thoughts they have so i think i'm already the bid just rock, the, the bedrock recovery center which yeah. is a, a drug rehab center says a single 100 to 400 microgram dose of fentanyl costs around two dollars or less yeah okay what? imagine having a, a rehab center called the bedrock recovery yeah. Yeah. Center. i mean look it's, it's honesty. You've hit rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's just honesty, right? Like, listen, buddy, you've, uh, I'm sure that they say that when you show up. Like, listen, buddy, you have to spend money to get you off drugs. You fucked your shit up pretty bad, buddy. You're, you're at rock bottom. Yeah. Or as we like to call it, the bedrock foundation for a shittier life. Drug foundation. Yeah, I'm always, um, it can't get any worse, <laughs> but can it? <laughs> I've had this thought a lot. I don't understand. So I understand being an alcoholic. Uh -huh. I don't understand being a crackhead because like <laughs> alcohol um, is like super well socialized. Right. So that's like a big part of like the social. So I understand like indulging in that. I don't understand how you get to the point where you're like, you know what? I will try crack. There's absolutely zero evidence to lead me to believe that smoking crack will end badly for me. Oh, no, like, no, like, all the evidence and, like, everyone that's ever done it just looks fucked. Yeah. And, um, it, like, it's, but I know that it's not good, but apparently it, um, triggers all three of the, like, positive feeling chemicals in your brain, like serotonin, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, adrenaline, whatever. I, like, it just, like, fucks you, like, overloads you yeah, with all the yeah. good shit, and you're like, oh my so god, So that this is I great. understand, right? Once you yeah. smoke crack, I understand being addicted to crack. That makes <laughs> perfect sense to me. I yeah. don't understand the moment in your life where you're like, hello, crack pipe. There is not thousands and thousands of stories of how this is going to end horribly for me. That well, part, I think it's, but it's like, like you and me, right? It's you and me in a room, Dylan, and I'm scratching my face with mm -hmm. fucking, I don't know, whatever. And I'm like, bro, have a hit of this. And you're like, what's that? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Dude, let's try it. Then That's try fair. it. And then you yeah. hooked. That's fair. That's probably. Awesome. Like... Sorry, you were saying? No, I was, yeah, I was just going to say, like, it's, it's usually like from what I've known from people that I've talked to that have done harder yeah, drugs. Crackheads, you know, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. This it's like guy it's, down the street. He's called Tim. He's a really good guy. It, yeah. Like, because Dylan, you made the comment that like socially, it's not like accepted or whatever. But it's dependent on who you're with. Because if if yeah, like Adam said, if you're with somebody and they're like, hey, by the way, you should try this. It's fucking cool. And it's someone that you trust. You're gonna be like, all right, fuck it. Bro, honestly, it. it's cool, man. I'm beyond, like <laughs> all the all the cool kids are doing it. I'm not being sold because the, I I can't put. I would <laughs> never sold. put myself. Good. You shouldn't be sold. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's like just like I. When I say well, what I mean is like I would never be in a situation where someone I trust is a crackhead, you know, because <laughs> like the scenario that you've described requires you to put a lot of trust into someone who smokes crack, and no, that's I understand just that not somewhere that I I see myself ever venturing into as a yeah like I don't know maybe I'm just not trying like if you were at my house Austin and you were like. Hey, like, are you thirsty, man? Have a drink of this. And you handed me a cup. I'd be like, and I, and I didn't immediately recognize it as like the Coca Cola in my house. I'd be like, Austin, where the fuck did you get this? Like, we have water and Coke. What is this light blue liquid? I mean, it's Gatorade, man. And I'm, I'm, I'd be like, where the fuck did you get Gatorade from? Like, where's the bottle? Like, I need you to prove to me that, that Gatorade entered this house because I'm not just going to drink a cup that people are handing me without. Knowing what the fuck is in it, unless I'm in a restaurant, then I'll just blindly trust my server. <laughs> Next Jesus. time that we that we hang out, I'm just gonna test this theory, yeah. or I'm just gonna hand you a cup like Dylan, try this. It's really good. I mean, no, and just see what happens. <laughs> I zoned out because I was trying to find the um. One of my friends showed me this video. He's from a he's a PhD student in mm -hmm. Berkeley, I think. He showed me this video, which is like the most crackhead video I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if you can show on stream or in in the podcast, but if you can't in your own time watch this video, it love cracks to. me up. Okay, do you have it? Yeah, it's in the oh, chat. I see, I see, I see. Let me see. Okay, see, 
That this is a YouTube this is video. The most so, fucking fever dream shit you'll ever see. God when you said it, most crackhead this. video, I took it in a much different extreme. I did as well. <laughs> so there's this. It's one of my favorite videos to show oh people my. because it is. Is it? Hey, hold on. Can I just guess this? Yeah, go for it. Is it Bling Bling's crack pipe from from Bum Fights? No, no. It's oh, so much a worse. Good crackhead video. It's in a Del Taco. I believe somewhere in Southern California. It's honestly, it's a, it's a showing of, of racial, um, like joining unity. There we go. Racial unity. It's, it's beautiful. It's a blackhead, blackhead, oh, no. a black crackhead and a white crackhead <laughs> sitting together. Uh, the white crackhead has a hospital bracelet on cause he's just gotten out of the hospital. Um, and then he's just sitting there. Everyone's looking over at him. They're like outside in the patio area of this Del Taco and then the white crackhead, where is the black crackhead? One of the crackheads gets on all fours, assumes the doggy position, and the other crackhead pulls down his pants to reveal his asshole, and then takes a hit of his crack pipe, blows it into this dude's ass, and then starts eating his ass in a public restaurant. And to, so when you said the most crackhead video, that's where my mind goes, because that's the most crackhead shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, and and then instead you send me a video that appears to be an animated video made by a guy not eating another homeless man's ass in a Del Taco. And I'm like, well, that's like level four crackhead. That's not. That's not crackhead. You mean, <laughs> yeah, no, there are definitely some videos of IRL act, like acts of crackhead. Yeah. Acts of crack, we'll yeah. call them. Crackheadedness. Um, <laughs> Jesus. No, that's that's a lot. Yeah. I mean, I think I I think you did some like maybe level two crackhead stuff when we were in America. Level five, probably. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Wearing your um star spangled tight sequin pants. Oh yeah, and, I forgot about those. <laughs> to, to the Denny's. Yeah. That Mexican family talking shit about you in Spanish. Oh my! You remember that, God, bro? So <laughs> unlocked the memory for Dylan. Yeah. Uh, so when you said star, I thought you meant my fucking American flag, um, like fucking what's it called, um, like shorts that I have. But no, you're talking yeah. about no, no. They're like luchador shorts that are like up on my. Oh, th- yeah, no. They're unbelievably are, short and tight. Yeah. So bad, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. So at that like time, my life. 1970s, 1970s Palm Beach vibe. Yeah, that was um. I so I saw them at Target, and I went like, "Who the fuck would ever wear these?" And I was like, "Well, me. I'm gonna. I want to wear them now." And then he gets changed in the car park. Yeah, like now that like now that I've seen how ridiculous these are, like I want to wear these. Oh my god, I forgot that you came down and we went to um EDC. Yeah, man, that was good fun. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Got drugged by some chick. Yeah, I remember that. (laughs) Yeah, you're like, yeah, I started Jesus. making out of this chick and there was a pill in my mouth. And I was like, yeah, why, why do you think she's kissing you? She's fucking having fun drugging people. It's like, uh, it was good fun, though. Oh, yeah, it was great, yeah. I... God damn it, she was hot. I'm sure she was, okay? This is America. There's a Still lot of hot bitches. Name, yeah, no, she probably doesn't know her own name, okay? That woman's a crackhead by now. True. That woman's life yeah. has spiraled, more than likely. Um, yeah, EDC, yeah. I remember... I, Cause I think we all went on like separate adventures. I I had a ball. People watching. I had a great time. Yeah, I <laughs> went to like the like near the bleacher area. There's like a large there's like a large grass area. I was just watching, yeah. like what, looking around. Cause like when you're going to the area that's like all grass, everyone's laying down in. You're increasing your chances of seeing someone whose life decisions oh. were just inted. I I <laughs> I have this vivid memory of this woman in a fucking onesie, and like where her like. Yeah. The part that covers your ass and vagina had been torn open through like, you know, too much frolicking and she's drunk as fuck. And she's like asking her friends, like, you know, like, let's get some drinks. I remember being like, ma'am, I can see your pussy. Okay. You need to find a pair of pants and then go get some more drinks. And that woman could not give a fuck. There was this dude finger banging his rather unattractive girlfriend just on the fuck. Probably not his girlfriend uh, on the grass. I remember being like, this place is so cool. Like, what? Why would you do this? It's the real, it's the real fucking, I don't know, just lawless area. Yeah. Right. Like, it's madness. I remember, because I, I also, I, I was sick at that time as well. Like. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I had a cold, and then yeah. my nose just, just started pouring yeah, blood. Dude, I remember. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I want to go party, but my nose is saying yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't drugs. It was 
dry fucking, dry weather yeah it's fucking till they dry, dryness fucking, yeah yeah fucking nevada or whatever it's called yeah man what a place yeah, austin have you been to edc I have not, but from what I've seen, people that I know that have gone, it's just a lawless fucking wonderland, and it's people great. do drugs left and right. Pretty um, awesome. So as someone who doesn't like EDM at all, if it weren't for the wild crackheads and delicious food trucks, I probably would have had a horrible time. But there were so many wonderful... It's so much just random shit happening. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I loved it. I, I was a big fan. Um, I almost went right before COVID, because uh, my friend was um, playing there, so he was going to give me and this other, this other oh, girl, really? yeah, this girl that I knew, tickets, just like for free. And I was like, "Oh, perfect! Like I live right by there. It's like a three-hour drive. I'm, I'm fucking so down. Bet, like, let's go." And then COVID happened, and they're like, "No, we're not doing this anymore." And I was like, "Oh well, I guess not dreamy." That plan, yeah, the opposite of dreamy, undreamy. I think I spent like, yeah, nightmare. I spent um, probably a good sixty percent of the time I was there on the on the rides. Just like on the Ferris wheel and shit. I was about to say, just I kidding. won on the Ferris wheel quite a bit. It was, it was, it was, there was, it was a beautiful landscape to look at. It was like, Ferris was great. But also, how else are you going to get away from the fucking noise, dude? It was so loud. Listen, dude. <laughs> I brought earplugs. I had fucking earplugs we, the entire trip. So we went after the first, because we walked through the Austin, like, there's, there's this, like, this gate, this hmm. carnival gateway, and you walk through it, and immediately it's just so fucking loud. Like you can feel your ribs vibrating. Yeah. Like, so Jesus. Well, you know how every time you launch a new video game, it's like the most deafening yeah. sound you've ever heard. It's, yes, yes. it's that for yeah. the entire weekend. It's as loud as possible. Yeah. It's just never. Why do producers do that? Why is it like volume one hundred, everything one hundred when I you first launch a game for the first time? Like put it on thirty. You know, like start there. If here's, it's not loud enough, I'll turn it up. Yeah. Here's my copium. Okay. I think this is my hot take. I'm probably wrong. I think it's our probably. fault. I, I feel like as the people that use computers, I feel like we just probably have our, our volume settings completely fucked up and like way louder than they need to be. But I also don't know. Mm. Or are we, so, are we supposed to always run the games at 100 and then have our desktop turned down? I don't know, actually. I'm uncertain. I'm, I'm talking on my I, ass here. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm very spoiled in the sense that like with my go xlr any time oh, i launch a new game so i just nice. i just turn it down it's like it's What's the this? greatest thing ever so it's a it's an audio interface for my mic but you yeah. can control separate levels so i've got like discord on one track and video games on another yeah. track so anytime a game is too loud i can just turn it down without having to turn down all of my desktop audio that's some it, dj level shit dude man. It uh, is fantastic it is the greatest I've got person the same ever thing. it's called windows sound manager based and you can just have different like levels for different applications yeah. that are open. It's pretty cool. So, no, so I used to use that too. Imagine that, but you on your desk you had like volume knobs where you can oh control. Oh my god, it. it's like the same thing, but I need to buy something for it. Yeah, so hear yeah, me yeah. out. Hear me out. The convenience <laughs> alone <laughs> sold me on it. I, I. Well, you've got the same thing now. Oh yeah. I well, so I actually was more insane. I used to have a like a Bellinger Xair like twelve or some shit where it was like a. a um, Don't know what that is. Basically, it's just so, a big audio interface. Yeah, it, it all started because uh, I was sitting. I had like my four monitors in my this one, my new house. Um, Jesus, I was I was in the basement in my war room. You know? Yeah, in my <laughs> war room, and there. So I had like you know like four or five monitors, and I'm sitting there, and I was like, I had like football games on all of them, and I was like, damn, I wish I had like an interface that I could turn up games individually without having to like have like the nine remotes. So uh, then I spent far more money than I needed to to wire almost every single thing into my house into a pair of wireless headphones. And then it had like an app. So I would just walk around my phone and I would like walk into a different room and it'd be like, I want to hear this TV. Zip. And it, it, it was the most lazy fucking thing of all time. But my God, the convenience was worth every dollar. It was so fucking amazing. Um, There's so much shit like that these days though. Like all the smart house stuff. Yeah. Like I got some Philips Hue lights. God, I want those. Fucking great investment, dude. Yeah. So good. Um, I, and I've got two lamps in my bedroom, like one by my bed and then one in the corner. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice, dude. Like you just, you're downstairs because I've got one by my computer as well. Yeah. So I, on my phone, like leave the computer, computer off, bedroom on, and it's just like glorious, <laughs> vibrant colors. Yeah. It's like being back at EDM, EDC rather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. My goal for this room. Um is to run like light strips all around it and like yeah 
but I want to find live strip so I can fuck with on my phone because that's the biggest thing for me is having control in the palm of my hands. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. There's a, a company called Govee, G O V E E. They're fairly inexpensive and they're, they have like support for uh, like Alexa and things like that, but then you can control it from your phone. Uh, there's heaps of stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. if you can get something that's like smart home integrated, then I guess it's, it's just easier to manage because Google's like, I control everything. Yeah. I need to move back to California good. so I can just buy infinite things again. Yeah, true, because they don't actually have shops in uh, in Minnesota, do they? Well, no, it's not that. Okay, first of all. Uh, it's because I quit my unbelievably nice job in California for literally no reason other than the fact that I was like, I'm 24 and bored. I'm going to go to Minnesota. Okay. Um, and let me so tell you. what are you doing you, now? Nothing. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Absolutely nothing. I need to find a job because, uh, you know, after okay, a yeah. year of not changing my spending habits very much, you know, it turns out you burn through money pretty quick. Um, it's pretty crazy, right? Yeah. That'll do that. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I, I don't think that um, I'll find a job that like offers me the flexibility that my previous job offered me and for the same pay in Minnesota. But like, it's like, what, I don't need that much money. But my God. When I, when I started, like, factoring in, like, okay, so I'll, I'll get, like, a normal job, whatever the fuck, it's like, okay, I, I, I'm aiming for, like, this range of money, I'm like, what can I, what's my spending power, and it's like, oh, it's a lot less than it used to be, you know, I can't just go buy a yeah. fucking $500, like, electric keyboard, and, like, yeah, whatever, okay, like, uh. what do you, what do you do, Austin, Austin, uh, Austin, Jesus, I forgot your name for a second, <laughs> it's right in front of me, it's awkward, <laughs> what do you uh, do? I currently work at a large retail company. I don't want to say That's what it. company, but I, I work no, a lot. You don't say, like, but what do you do? You know, <laughs> I, I just sell shit. I'm just in sales. Okay, so you're in sales. Yeah. Easy. In store or? Yeah, in store. Okay, dreamy. Dreamy. Um, not, what are you selling? It, it's uh, electronics. Can I give me an exact model number? Perhaps yeah, a store <laughs> give number? me a model number and I'll search it. Um, <laughs> but no, um, did you guys not meet when you were in California? Did you not meet Austin? I don't think uh, so. What the fuck? How Maybe did not. that? I mean, we went to the... Well, fuck. What happened when I was there? I can almost remember day by day. Um, like, we arrived and stayed up to 5 a.m. playing Ark. I was going to say, we played Ark for like a solid four <laughs> that days. That was so much fun. Dude. It was amazing. <laughs> the nap nap people. Yes! It's fucking tiny and yes. really quick. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I remember this. Yes. That was the best. Because we had one of those modern servers. You could like heaps of xp points we just live with our health and speed yeah, yeah. like to the max and yeah. we were just these fucking tiny gray wide I remember, short people i remember so there was someone like came to fuck with us and like we just like <laughs> cut a tree down really fast and got heavy so he tried to pick us up and he couldn't pick us up on his dinosaur and we started stabbing him i remember i remember they had like sentry guns but they fucked it up where like there was like a thin line that we could walk through and not activate them and we spent like an hour just chipping away at their wall oh my god i forgot about that that was fantastic Jesus. Yeah, that would have been you there with your 20 chicken nuggets and, yeah. <laughs> and your fucking ranch sauce, which I still think is gross. But Hell yeah. Hey, you do you, man. Listen, ranch. I swapped to buffalo sauce. I still love ranch, but uh, whenever if I get nuggets, which I haven't gotten in two, three fucking years, I haven't had McNuggets in so long. Holy shit. I should get some McNuggets with all $11 that I have. Um, no, I reckon, I still reckon the best fast food place you took me was Chick-fil-A. That place is goaded. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is great. Fantastic. It's, the sauce is... I, okay. Arguably, the, what makes Chick-fil-A good is the sauce. I, I, think I, that I don't is, know, man. I, I think that it's just like a really simple formula and they fucking nail every part of yeah. it. Like, good bun, good chicken, yeah. good pickle. And you're right, the sauce is part of it. But, like, it's not, the, it's not the thing that sells it to me. It's just, like, it's the chicken, I reckon. Yeah. Listen, Austin, I've raw-dogged a lot of fucking chick-fil-a okay it's 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 still pretty good even without yeah. the sauce yeah I, I, dude what year did you come down like 2017 27 uh 20 2017 i think no it was not 2017 because it was before i graduated and i graduated 2017 well, i mean but when yeah that's an entire 12 month period right yeah no i, I know was... but I, what I'm saying is I graduated in June of 2017, so I, it had to have been... 20, I would have been there in July of 2017, I thought. I, I think it, 
I, I, well, I think yeah, I no, it was it was 2017 for sure because I did law school for half of 2016, dropped out, worked as a tour guide, saved money, went overseas. So that would have been yeah, it was EDC 2017. I'm pretty much certain because I was overseas from July until December. No, no, I was overseas from June until December because EDC wasn't June. Oh my god! So it must have been yeah, just didn't, before didn't you graduated, you, Austin. You you went for like a year of travel, didn't you? Yeah, man, it was great. Weird. Yeah, man, yeah. I'm just stupid. But it was like it was so weird, man, because we had what a couple of weeks in California and then went to EDC. Yeah, you were down for and, two weeks, I believe. And, and three days in EDC, I was drugged, hooked up with a really hot girl. Was at a like crazy fucking festival. Mm-hmm. Went to Vegas, um, had Chipotle, incredible. Um, <laughs> Dog shit everywhere outside of California, by the way. I I love it. No, it's great. In, but, in California, I love it. Yeah. Fantastic. <clears throat> and then I went over to Europe and I was like, shit, if this is going to be how my next sort of six months of existence is going to be, I'm all for it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, what else could I want? Like, I'm just having a good time existing. Um, not really worrying about anything as well. That's why, Austin, you've got to set your sights higher than just vague <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mid-northwest Pacific or whatever you said. Like. What do you mean, man? I think that's a Seven solid... Goats, somewhere in Washington. Yeah. I've just got to like, be realistic about it. No, rather that's, than the thing with, aspirations. that's the thing with... Aspirations. That's the thing with... It's not necessarily <laughs> realistic. It's like, this is where I want to be. Yeah. Like... Nah, I... Dude, I forgot that I donated blood right before EDC. That was fucking weird, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> they I wouldn't take mine. I was like, I was just like, I don't want to, get, to really give yeah. blood to this dude. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't give blood before EDC. We're right in the desert. It was a horrible idea. Um, <laughs> I gave her blood out of my nose, dude. A fucking Fuck. girl I was trying to bang, and she fucking was, was at the blood drive. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. We'll give blood. Fuck it. Sure. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, I ended up what moving to next door to her. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Talked to her all of like six times over the course of the two years I lived there. It was pretty great. But you know, you, you can't Sick, win them dude. all. Sometimes you give Real blood. Real vibes. <laughs> uh, well, no, it was, she was, but I, I fucking... Yeah. God, I, I forgot that I gave blood. Did I don't, I don't remember being tired either. I got Giving blood's easy, it turns out. Can you sell blood? Is that a thing I can do to make money? Yeah, On the black you, sell, you can, you, I uh, think. Blood and then plasma as well. Oh yeah, we were looking into that, and it's like uh, the nearest place where I live was like um, it's like a hundred mile drive for plasma donations. Really? Was, yeah, like, like to give or to take? To give. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can buy plasma from people. <laughs> <laughs> hey boss, you want like plasma? They've been selling you. Can I? I need some for no reason in particular. Just trying to build Frankenstein in the backyard. But, you know, um, I don't know. It, it's wild how uncivilized. America becomes once you leave Southern California. It shocked me. I was shook. Where it's like, um, oh god, yeah, like that weird town that we passed through on the way to, to uh, Las oh, Vegas. Yeah, 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 like in Death Valley or something. It was just like this collection of shops on the side of this desert. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, it might have been Charlie thing? Brown's Farms. Um, but no, yeah, like even then, you're still in California, and that's still more civilization than like most of the Midwest. Like the food standards here. My entire life, I've had people talk shit on fast food and, like, how bad it is and all this stuff and, like, how, like, gross it is. And I've always been, like, it's, like, obviously less quality than, like, a normal restaurant, but it's not, like, poison. And then, I'm, go for it. I'm trying to remember the name of the, like, the fancier Mexican place we went to that had, like, those beef tacos. Uh, uh, Anchos is my guess. Oh, Ooh, yes. Yes. Anchos. Yeah. Fuck, that was so was good. good. Yeah. Those were banging tacos, and it was full of people going there after church, but... Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, you know. <laughs> I, I just went to Ancho's, too. I flew back to California uh, for my birthday. I convinced, like, yeah. a bunch of people from my guild to, like, come fly out to fucking California and hang out with me. Best decision ever, dude. We, there was, like, 25, 26 of us all in this, like, big Airbnb that uh, we rented. So fucking fun. I took them all to Ancho's. Really? It was great. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to be there, and then I wasn't because I'm stupid. Yeah, Austin was thinking with his wiener, <laughs> and... No, Ooh. see, that's the thing. It, that's oh. not even what it was. I just... Um, I fucking hate everything. 
No, 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 you can tell us, Austin. I I was tired of being in California as I am now, so I moved huh? to live with a friend, and then in it, the Pacific Northwest. No, in Florida, <laughs> fucking Florida. That's dude. as far from the Florida. Pacific Northwest as you can be. Yeah, what the fuck? I know. Literally. And it, I was there for a month, and I hated every second of it, and now I'm back. Was there a girl? Yeah, yeah, that was his roommate. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like it wasn't a like I didn't go out there. Dylan swears. Look at look at his face. He swears that's what it was, but it wasn't. I will. Uh, okay, what was it? We were just friends. Just friends. We were just friends. Were you just friends, or were you just friends? We were. We were only friends, and now we don't talk anymore. Why is that? If you're just friends, <laughs> it's it's a whole story. Now listen. Cool, uh, in Austin's time. defense, uh, I think this woman's fucking insane. Um, everything I've seen with this woman leads me to believe that she is a wild individual. So. Is there a chance that she would be listening to Austin talk about There's her? There's a zero percent chance she awesome. listens Austin. to any of my content. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't think. I, listen, there still it might be like a one percent chance. I don't think Austin wants to. Yeah. You know. I'd, I'd rather not risk it. I don't risk talk it for to the biscuit, Austin. Anymore. Come on. <laughs> no, there's nothing. It, it's it really isn't anything. Like we were we were friends, uh, and then she. I, oh, Dylan. I, actually, fuck it. I don't care. The crazy girl from my work. Okay. She. Okay went out of her way to reach out to like that group uh lied to them about me and then that's why they stopped talking to me and like why i got that text at three in the morning calling me fucking weird based yep that's uh that makes a lot of sense what happened listen dude sometimes you um just uh stop being friends with people and then uh it explodes violently (laughs) like uh like me and Adam are only connected because of uh, a mutual from from the three of us, Jenna. And I don't talk to that person yep. anymore at all. And I, I would never would. It's that that I, friendship. I spoke to Jenna this oh. morning. <laughs> I, mean, I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I know you're still friends with Jenna, and that's okay. I just will never talk to that person again until uh, I die, probably. That friendship. Really? That's awkward. That shit exploded. <laughs> Um, I I have I have I will say I have spoken to her about mm-hmm. like you and and like whatever and she's like I would still about you. <laughs> no no not at all she like she has no hard feelings well no you. shit she has no fucking hard feelings <laughs> what the fuck like God let's not go into this here <laughs> oh I would love to I would love nothing more oh it's so funny yeah like of course she's a fucking hard but that's, that's such a dumb fucking thing to say but well, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm just trying to you know what I'm just, what happens when peace. I try and keep the peace and just uh, I, no, there is no peace. I can't I can't win. I can't listen, do anything. Listen, okay. I saw you were floundering with the uh the Florida lady and I brought in a similar situation. Uh, uh, not even close to the same situation, but other than that it was uh, someone that I'm not friends with anymore, okay? I'm here to take the heat off of you, okay, buddy? With my fucking my vengeance, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> There's no vengeance. I, this I would never do anything. I don't give a fuck. Um, just the friendship exploded. At the end. <laughs> Suck about that with her. <laughs> Listen. I just I'm gonna stop talking. I just can't fucking. No, no, you can't stop talking. You're on a podcast, Austin. <laughs> yeah, that's no, crazy. By law, you have to just continue until uh, until I until decide. We say so. Yeah, until I decide it's over. You know. <laughs> And you've got about twenty more minutes of of shit that you need to say. You know, it's probably right now. It's probably like Thursday for May. You know, we're 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 nearing the end of uh their return home from work. Uh, this entire podcast only exists because uh, one of my friends complained like four times to me of like, I don't like my drive to work. You should do a <laughs> podcast. It's like, well, okay, I guess. so tell me about May. Uh, so do you want like the beginning? The... That's just everything. Yeah. So she so, was born at the age of zero. With yeah. No idea what was happening. So yeah. uh, it, uh, it all started in the World of Warcraft video game. I joined an Anixia pug, and uh, this person came over the microphone. They were the most shrill sounding person I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, Jesus. My fucking ears were bleeding. I immediately <laughs> muted them. Okay. Frame perfect mute. <laughs> then it turns out they were friends with someone else that I was friends with. So I unmuted them like a month later, and now we're really good friends. And um, their voice in real life is not shrill whatsoever. It was just like that one night, for whatever reason, their microphone really made them sound fucking terrible because it was one of the most insufferable. I, I was I like something activated in my ape brain and I wanted to smash maybe the fucking hammer. I was, I was just like, oh, 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 
<laughs> but um, no, she's great. Um, and it uh, turns out her husband is the coolest dude ever. A uh, big fan of uh, Mr. Ethel. He's uh, he's been on this podcast. Uh, I've met him in real life. Just a fucking outstanding individual. I couldn't. I do not have enough good things to say about Mr. Ethel. Um, May is also cool. Um, very nice lady. <laughs> but Ethel is just. Let me tell you something else. May orders me pizzas randomly. Um, hey, dreamy, yeah. And then uh, the That's pizza nice man friend. walks into my house unannounced, doesn't see me, doesn't knock, and then he just goes and leaves. That's pretty cool. Him to is, do. It, is the pizza? Does the pizza get deposited at your no. house, or is it? No, he just leaves with it. What the fuck, dude? The man. Midwest is <laughs> fucking insane. Okay. <laughs> so people See the guy stalk around this house with a pizza in my hand. Yeah, <laughs> it has happened like twelve times. I cannot emphasize every time I've ever ordered pizza. Half the time, they don't even knock. They just walk into my house unannounced, don't say a fucking word, leave the pizza on my dinner room table, dining room table, and leave. Not a word is spoken. Not a knock is exchanged. <laughs> it's like, what if I wanted to tip you in cash? I wasn't going to because I didn't order this pizza. But <laughs> what if? It blows my mind that they will just okay, walk into my house. Is fucking. there a possibility that May at this point is just like, just fucking go for it. It's fine. Like she puts it in the notes when she orders food. Um, Potentially. Uh, I will say I was about to go to bed one night and May texts me. And May's like, don't go to sleep. A pizza's coming. Pizza did not come <laughs> for like four hours. I stayed up. I was so hungry. And then she ended up ordering a second pizza place because she's just an absolute, absolute angel. So I did get, end up getting pizza that night. But I remember just being like, literally about, like, about to close my eyes and getting a text. It's like, don't go to sleep. I got you pizza. And it's like, hey, I like pizza. I'll stay up. And that pizza took a, a long while to get there. I was a very hungry little Gary. But pizza arrived. Yeah. I had an Uber Eats driver the other day who, because I, there's this incredible Vietnamese place um, called Vicky Vietnamese, mm -hmm. Vietnamese street food. Um, and they make the, like the best pho, which is yeah. like the, yeah. Vietnamese noodle mm -hmm. soup. Um, so I'd ordered some because it's feeling a little bit dusty. One of some like what nice does dusty food. mean? I was just gonna say, dusty? what is dusty? No one American no, knows oh, what that okay. means. No, uh, <laughs> what is? <laughs> We're learning. Love it. Okay. Uh, dusty is like hungover. Like. Oh, okay. Okay. Dusty. Um. Crooked. Um. You're I don't know. Like burnt, toasted. Toasted to me means I'm high as shit. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I can see where you're getting there, but but no, you're wrong. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bad. Fuck. So, sorry, you were dusty and you ordered some pho. I was dusty, ordered some pho, <laughs> and the driver comes and he puts it on the. So I've got like a, a door handle that's like one of those ones that goes out from the door, and then it's like a, just like a lever on it. Yeah. And he hooks it over that, but on the outside of the door. So for me to get my far, I've got to open the door and turn the handle like this. Yeah. And I can see it hanging on the outside of the door and I'm just like having a real existential moment. I mean, he's like, I can't get this, the soup, you know, like, what am I going to do? Um, yeah, it ended up spilling it everywhere. Ugh. So Is there only one sad. exit to your uh, establishment? I mean, no, there's two, but one of them is blocked by like many stacked things. I see. Um, I see. Uh, yeah, as, as you should. Always only have one entrance and exit from your building. <laughs> yeah, look. yeah, well, no, there's many exits, but there's only one to get to the front door. I see. That's I see. why it's the front door. I mean, if I was smart and not dusty, I would have just opened the garage. But you, Yeah, so you sacrificed this poor fur. I, look, I think I retained about 60% of it. That's good. That's good. And that was enough. It was still very tasty. Yeah. I've only ever had mostly good experiences with like DoorDash and Uber Eats and all that. And I used to order a fuck ton of it. And I've read some horror stories. And I don't think I've ever had like a bad experience. Like they're all not retarded when they give me food, which is nice because uh, I like when food's not fucked up. Um, yeah, I've had a couple of bad experiences, yeah, but it's just like random things like spilling, thing, like, like spilling shit. I've had bad experiences, but not for my orders. Like when I was in Florida, me and the friend that I, were, that I was living with, we had a like someone knocked on the door and they sat there for like five minutes and kept knocking on the door. 
So you're like, what the fuck is going on? They finally leave. leave the food, bro. Hold it's on. Fine. We open the door and it's Chick Fil A, but we didn't fucking order Chick Fil A. So of oh, course we, we brought the food inside and we sat there for a minute. Nothing happened, and so we started eating it because it was just free food. There was two lemonades. There's two like like chicken well, sandwiches. It was show, awesome. I think they live in an apartment building where they're like, there's a person yeah. next door. Clearly, the other person's food, and so they just eat someone else's food. No, 100%. That's exactly what happened. Because five mm. minutes later, there's banging on the door, and it's no! the DoorDash lady, and then the dude that's like, You guys are eating my food. So we just turned off the lights and didn't fucking say anything. Because at that so point, the food was already gone. <laughs> food, food was already gone. Like, I, if anything, they're just going to get another free <laughs> thing from DoorDash. <laughs> Unreal. Jesus. Oh, God. Man, that's actually not even the worst thing I, I know that's happened. This is, uh, I can't even begin to describe this person to you, Adam, because your brain like just can't comprehend the levels of mental illness. <laughs> Try me. This person does not speak out loud. They are a mute. They don't speak out loud. They're too they are too I anxious and afraid to talk in. to other people. Okay? They're a mute. Okay? Oh jeez. So they okay. only type, okay? They're well, uh, oh they oh. only type. When I say mute, I don't mean like, oh, they get shy and no. They only no, they type. Just don't talk. They have you talk. ever heard them talk? No. Never. Never. I've known them for three years. Imagine if they talk and they've got like this really deep, like, hey. <laughs> I'm I'm all for it, okay? I, I, pr I pray that one day they will wake up and be normal. Not going to happen, though, okay? You just have to take the L, okay? This is like... A friend is also a bad word, because you can't really be friends with someone you can't fucking talk to. But, um... So, their neighbor ordered food and didn't pick it up. A full 24 hours later... The food is still outside, and this goblin eats the food that's been on the porch for 24 hours. 24 hours? Okay, and, hell no. And they posted this, and we're talking about it as if everyone's reaction wasn't going to be, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> why? Dude. But it's like a porch fire thing, but in a really bad way. Yeah, like, I, I would say a victimless porch pirating, <laughs> actually, because... No, no one should have been eating that. That's garbage food. That's food that goes to the garbage. And like, if this person spoke out loud, I would probably give them far more grief for doing it. But when you don't, well, because they have not. But when you don't speak aloud, you know, it's like this just fits into my like m my mind's eye of an activity. Of someone who doesn't speak out <laughs> loud. Like a do. very like Gollum style yeah. character, sort of just yeah. like scuttling oh, yeah. over. Literally. <laughs> Like, this is food for the precious? Like, that's, oh, that's all that I can imagine. Um, There's some not not person stuff. There are three mutes, by the way, that I know. And they're all friends of each really? other. Yeah. And they're all deeply disturbed because of it, I assume. Um, with zero evidence to back any of that up. But they don't talk out loud, so I assume they're insane. Uh, one of them is, like, my closest friend. Like, someone I, like, really, really am, like, good friends with. Which is crazy, because, like... I talk to this person like there's no fucking universe that i should actually be friends with them because like i literally don't talk to them but like i remember like this is like fucking half a year ago i like checked how many messages we exchanged on discord and it's like holy fuck i guess we would exchange a lot of messages if you um, we can't speak aloud to one another that makes sense but God, so he probably had some very one-way conversations with that person Yes. Oh, of course. My God, they're so good at listening. Like yeah, they're such a good listener. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's a it's a strange environment, and it's like you want to play games with them, but it's like you can only play specific games because like if you're trying to play like an intense shooter, and you're having shooter a conversation game. where you have to do this to talk to them, and you have to look away from your fucking screen. My God, complete aids. The absolute worst. And I still do it because they're like I enjoy, I do enjoy hanging out with them. They're they're a funny person. But it, yeah, if I had like one one aspiration and one wish, it would be to fucking hit them in the head as hard as I could, so that their brain would be unfucked and they would like talk out loud. It's recalibrate. Yeah, and they're they're a hundred percent listening to this. And uh, yeah, if I I would recalibrate the shit out of your brain if I could, buddy. They're probably just <laughs> smirking right now. Th that are because they can't anxiously. talk. They've got a microphone for sure. <laughs> they have no. They have a microphone. Like one hundred percent. Do you think they talk outside? Like other. I know that they don't talk at the WoW Guild, like whatever. Do you think they talk to like other people in their real life? They like they they have to, right? Because they walk around with like a speaking spell. There's no way. Uh, they have like a very nice job, is my understanding, and like they do communicate with people out. And it, it like it in my soul, 
it like hurts me, right? Because it's like, man, why the fuck are you talking? Like, you'll talk to like the cashier at fucking Wendy's, but you won't talk to me. Like, how the fuck are we friends? Like, that's not like fuck. Go fuck yourself. Um, but then I get over that, and I'm just like, oh, let's play games. Who cares? But then I do care. But then I lie and say I don't. Um, but yeah, no, like this person doesn't talk, and it's, it just it baffles me. It's like, and it's not like this. So this person, I'm trying to the nicest way to put this. This person spends a lot of time online. So what confuses me is they don't talk out loud for all this time that they're online. And it's just like... Are they just saving their words? Yeah. I, as I'm, soon as they're offline, she's like... Yeah, I was going to say, they're, they're about to have the most profound conversation of all time. This is the first time they queue up their mic. I'm going to learn like nine new languages, the meaning of life. It's going to be fantastic. And um, when, when I was like in the initial, like when I first started being friends with them, like actually, because I, I've known them for like three years, but I haven't like really been friends with them for three years. But when I first started being their yeah. friend, I like really was like pushing f towards like, you know, talk, you rat motherfucker. Like, just be normal. I want to <laughs> hang out with you. Uh, and then like for a very long period of time, I just gave up. And I was like, whatever, I'll like, never talk. And now I'm I'm back into the full swing of like, no, like you have until like the end of 2023 to talk to me or I'm destroying our friendship because this is madness. I refuse to be friends with someone for four years and not talk to them. You know, just terrorist. You've activity. never had a conversation. Never. Not one fucking oh, time. See, you guys have had conversations, but it's Dylan talks. What and the then fuck? No, that's not a conversation. Back. It's got to be. It's, it's a monologue. It's, oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's my brother. He's almost butt ass naked in don't the background. Worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Wait, tell Cody I said hi. He's in the bathroom. I'm not going to go there and talk to him. Anyways, sorry. Continue. Oh, I said I'm proud of him for okay. capturing whatever he did on Facebook. Was the beaver, yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. Anyway, Adam, what were you saying? Uh, man, I've lost train of thought. Um, it's chip, not a conversation. It was... it's a yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> If that person's listening, what the fuck? Listen, um, I, I've gotten into Just like... imagine how liberating it's going to be when you start talking. Oh, it should be my, insane. My cousin um, used to be, like, so fucking shy and yeah. nervous. Like, even to, uh, like, family. Yeah. So she would literally, like, at the dinner table, she would whisper into the ear of her mum, who would then say what she had said. Fucking weird... She's now a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> like, nice. You're just like saving all these words in your youth and you're just yeah. expulsing them now. Yeah. <laughs> like... Listen, uh, I I've gotten into long, long arguments and like burned, burned a lot of bridge with uh, these people sometimes, these mutes. Because there was one time we were, we were talking about like all meeting up and hanging out and one of them was like, oh no, I, I would never do that. So, oh, okay, well, like we're not really friends then. If you wouldn't be willing to like hang out with talk someone in person yeah. not, not even talk like hang out in person like we're not friends that's just that's like the bare minimum of friendship right because it's like obviously if you live like across the fucking worlds or whatever don't mind don't mind the shortest man um when you're like across the fucking um world like you obviously can't fucking hang out because you know you're far as fuck but yeah. it's like in a hypothetical scenario if we're in the same fucking city and we're like two blocks from each other and we both know we're two blocks from each other like would you hang out with me and one of them said, this is not my dear friend. This is someone else. One of their mutes went like, no, I wouldn't do that. It's like, oh, then we're not friends. Like, that's the opposite. That's like the bare minimum for friendship is being willing to fucking hang out with each other. Yeah, go and get a beer or something. Yeah. Like, And they got so fucking mad. Like, un they, 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 they called me a piece of shit and I was an asshole. And like, I don't understand how people work. And I have like autism. And it's like. But you don't or they don't? You're the I one that don't. has autism because you want to hang out with friends listen <laughs> wait hold on i don't know how that works listen yeah no i think you are in the wrong there man you're a bit fucked up yeah that's fair <laughs> but um I, I, completely unrealistic expectations i i, I feel so bad because i just can't defend themselves right now but um i am sure like well, well, they couldn't defend themselves if they were in the, on the podcast dude, right? I, feel like, so what say? <laughs> I feel bad because they get clowned on so much for the not talking thing because it's like so in game there's like a chat window and then, like, yeah, one yeah, time, yeah. Jit was arguing with one of the mutes, and he's like, I've closed the chat window. You don't exist anymore. Like, I win. Like, <laughs> you you literally, you can't refute anything I'm saying because you don't, you've ceased existing. I have removed you from my life with one click of a button. It's a pretty solid. It's like, yeah, fuck, this guy. 
I mean, they can do the same thing. They can just turn their headphones off. That's true. That's fair. That's another. It's just like, what is the that one tweet from Tyler the Creator? Yeah, it's like, it's like how I don't do understand how people get cyber bullied. Yeah. Just turn your phone off. Yeah, just walk away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I yeah, I haven't talked to Nigel in forever. Um, about hanging out, but I I think this. And please, Nigel, correct me if, you're, if correct me if I'm wrong here. Okay, just destroy my day. I think Nigel is of the opinion that, like, if for whatever reason we were in the same city, like, two blocks from each other, like, we would hang out and they would talk to me. But um, that, like, requires me to, you know, be in that area of the world for some fucking reason. I mean, I think, like, the the way it happens is it's not like you're going over and sleeping over at the house, you know? Like, it's you're going out, first of all, meeting somewhere public. Yeah. If you're... Yeah. <laughs> if it's the first time, you know? Like, I mean, what we did is... Probably atypical, I would say. Well, I, no, <laughs> yeah. well, no, because 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 we played a fuck ton of games together before. We did, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, we there there were several hours of conversation already had. Um, yeah. So it's less weird, like uh, like my friend like Neps. Remember Neps? Um, yeah. Yeah. So like I I've met Neps several times, and it's like yeah, I just flew to the fucking airport and he picked me up, and that was and we I stayed at his fucking house, but it's like we'd had hundreds of fucking hours of interaction oh, for sure. beforehand. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, Nigel and I have air quotes interacted for hundreds of hours. So I, it wouldn't be, I, in my head, at least we could meet, get food and it wouldn't be fucking too weird for him. But they're also a person that doesn't talk. So who fucking knows what they would be like in real life? God damn it, Nigel. Yeah. Listen, Nigel is fantastic. I, I have played an ungodly amount of video games with a person that doesn't talk out loud. Um, given my stance of like, if you don't talk to me, I hate you, but they're fantastic. So we don't hate you, Nigel. We're just a little bit confused. Exactly. We're not mad. We're just disappointed. Um, you know, a little more on the rude side with that one. I like Adam's version better. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one far more. Just, just a little confused, buddy. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think that uh, I'm on the precipice of breaking Nigel in the same way that you break a horse, a wild stallion. <laughs> oh my God. Wild Bronco. You've got a rope on him. You're just training him to speak. Yeah. Listen, I, I have felt like a lot of progress has been made. Okay. Nigel's a very secretive person. And um, I, I, I feel like I've, I've pried enough at that uh, exterior wall that they've, they've given away a decent amount of information that uh. I, I trust them with a lot of things, you know. They're 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 my closest confidant, mainly because who the fuck are they gonna tell? What are you like? <laughs> hey, you can't tell on me. But Austin, um, what was your job interview process like going for your retail? Uh, it sales was, job. It's actually really funny. I think about it all the time. So I had worked at Best Buy before I worked at my current job, mm-hmm. and I. Okay, so best buy risk off the list. Yeah. yeah. So I walked into the interview process for my new job. And as I'm like waiting for it to start, I'm like, I'm not going to fucking get this job. So I like heavily debated on just leaving. Coward. Uh, but it was, a, it was a group. But I didn't. And I got the job. It was a group interview. And it was fucking weird. Because there, I specifically remember there was one girl who the, the question was like, name a time where like you had to to deal with something that was out of your comfort zone or, and like, how did you get around that? Very basic yeah. question. Everybody had like normal ass answers. This girl goes, well, one time when I was working at my last job, uh, there was a lady that spoke Asian and I don't speak Asian. And nice. everybody just like stopped and like looked at her. Like, did she really just fucking say that? Uh, and surprisingly she got hired for a short period of time and now she no longer works with us. Nice. What was your answer to that question? I don't fucking remember. I... Okay, I'll ask you that question again. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I don't know. There's a lot. I feel like that's such like a, a bullshit question. It's I, They just want to hear whatever story makes sense to them so you can get hired. I think, I think those questions tell quite a lot. How it's, so? Um... <laughs> It would how so depending on how someone answers it, it sort of sets the tone of a what kind of person they're like how deeply they will think introspectively about a question that's posed to them um if their answer is cogent and makes sense if it's chronological if they can structure like yeah, I just, in I my job they ask time. questions like that to us all the time like in the interview process it was almost entirely soft questions it, so there's like a lot of questions like that in my job too but the main 
caveat being it's a lot rather than like body of work it's how you can you can respond to the question in terms of like if you get uh like a promotion or something like that so people have learned to just lie their ass off like very blatantly lie their ass off rather than actually like do the body of work so that's that's what my issue with those types of questions that's funny so like that would like to me i don't know it just wouldn't work in my workplace that's for sure (laughs) would not work at all Uh, like if you lie about something it's you're fucked like You'll have to hold on to that. Oh, what a wicked web we weave when first we set out to deceive. Am I right? What, what? what the fuck are these profound... What, what, what the fuck is in New Zealand food, dude? <laughs> you dropped like fucking seven know, fucking bangers, this fucking podcast. Um, oh, yeah, no, like, a, a, a question oh, they asked me was shop. like... Sorry, you got? I said I'm putting these like all of these quotes okay, on Okay, yeah, sweet. I want some royalties, though. All right, for sure. <laughs> Um, a question they asked me in my job interview was, uh, tell us about a time where you wanted something so badly you were unstoppable in getting it. Oh, God. And good your question. answer was? Yeah, yeah, this is not good. No, none of my interests are good to that one. That's bad. <laughs> Dylan, no, go. I, what, what are you going to say? It's all about like... fucking chicks. That's like, <laughs> yeah. where it's like, listen, I fucking, you know, this woman really liked X thing. I became a master of X thing, okay? <laughs> yeah. And then, uh... I don't talk for anymore, but I still really like X thing. Like, uh, like that comfort zone question. Like, I, I have no good answers. The first thing that comes to my mind is um, a fucking World of Warcraft related thing, where it's like we were doing a forty man raid, and our raid leader had like a fucking mental breakdown, and I had like all of two raids under my belt, and like I just because I'm like a sociable guy, I got like field promoted to raid leader, and I had to fucking lead this group of like forty fucking people through this oh, like God. relatively difficult content that I barely understood myself. <laughs> And we fucking did perfect, and everyone like told me I did a great job. And like ever since that day, I was the fucking raid leader. But it was like, God, that shit was terrifying as a as my young lad that I was back in those three years. Young ago. lad, hey, yeah. twenty two years old, leading the team. Yeah, I was fucking terrified. <laughs> oh, captain, my captain. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> dude, that, that shit was so stressful. Like, oh my god, like there are there are now thirty eight people that like are yeah, setting my aside <laughs> you know three hours of their night every week for like leisure activities and now i'm in charge of that and if i fuck this up i'm like ruining the fucking night of 30 other people and i'm a cunt like this is not cool stress to be thrown at me randomly with zero preparation but um no, but that's a great example that's a great answer to that question okay but in a job interview setting do you think that question would be like acceptable? that answer one hundred percent, that would be acceptable. A, it's truthful. B, it is a important situation to be in. He's leading people, so that's a team of thirty-eight underneath you. C, he's engaged in a new situation and sort of learnt on the fly. That shows critical thinking skills. Um, and being able to maintain that over a three-hour period is stress resistance. Like, what else do you want? Yeah, it, and I, he's been I truthful know. about it. Yeah, he made that- like sound a lot more like competent and it now i'm impressed <laughs> yeah listen so if, if he was like yes yeah, so i was field promoted in the military like mm, yeah, settle down, cowboy, in you the know? middle of the field you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. o'brien took a round <laughs> to the chest <laughs> yeah. i had to lead second platoon through yeah. the fucking streets the enemy was using the ddos rounds yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah I, unjokingly a lot I, i've learned an ungodly amount of like like ex- I've gotten a lot of experience about like leadership and like yeah. structuring things from like Raylene World of Warcraft, where it's like you actually do it. Like my, my people skills from before WoW are either they were great, now they're insane. My ability, it is fucking impossible to keep forty people from ripping their fucking heads off each other. Okay, unless but you, you do, you, you fucking have to because <laughs> if you don't, you can't play the fucking game. So you gotta figure that shit the fuck out, and, and you learn how to manage personalities. And like keep people from like flipping their fucking shit. Sometimes it's inevitable, and it's like y- you have to like just very quickly figure out how to like recruit new people. And like my ability to like snapshot someone's personality on small conversations now is insane. And un- yeah, unfortunately, it's really hard to like um, transfer those skills on like into like a jo- there's no job that's like yeah r- read people very well and like manage people that isn't like what do you mean there isn't a job well, about so, that so like 
that those are great my, skills. That's what my job is. <laughs> so they're great skills to have. Like they're, they're fantastic skills to have that yeah. build on your like portfolio. But like those skills alone, like I can't go like manage an IT firm. I have no fucking idea a goddamn thing about IT. My, like the only jobs that I would like actually be comfortable and qualified to do are all construction related and like managing construction sites now because like now I've got not only the construction skill but the. The people's skill. <laughs> Let's yeah. reframe that and say the only job you'd feel comfortable doing at the moment yeah. would be that. I'd be comfortable it's doing a lot of shit, okay? But it's, it's probably what I'd get hired to do. Where... No, but like in that sort of train of thought, right? Yeah. In terms of not being able to go to an IT firm. But with an IT firm that comes to you and says we've got X problem, like... Yeah. Oh, I'll problem go solved, motherfucker. I would, I would, I would, I'm down exactly. to try anything. Have you seen my, my, yeah. my girl? Listen, buddy, these parses, they're 99 across the board. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm doing outstanding work. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, Austin, what? I'll go for it, Austin. Sorry. No, no. Go yeah, what was, what was your answer to that question? It's a what question? What? The uncomfortable one. An uncomfortable situation you've had to deal with. Honestly, I like, that's the thing is I haven't. I, I'm so bad about talking about myself. So one time I on just, a podcast, somebody asked me this question. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got experience with this question in the past. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I'm so bad about like talking about myself. I'd rather just like shut up and get the work done. And I've always been that way. So when people ask me about like how I'm doing or like accomplishments, I just I don't know what to say. This isn't an accomplishment question though. This is about something that you've like. Yeah, I don't know. So you struggle with those. I feel like you need more confidence, Austin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, wrong person. For, I'm the wrong person for that. 100. percent Confidence and me don't go hand in hand. No, you got to back yourself. Yeah, listen. You, you, all it takes, dude, just get really, really good at a niche thing, and then use that as a way to inflate your confidence the rest of your life. Like me and PUBG. <laughs> yeah, man. I've I've never been really good at anything. I've been moderately okay at a lot of things, and I've just kind of like skated by like that. Oh, but being able to use that in a... I don't want to give you fucking life advice at the moment. That's not what I'm here for. <laughs> okay. I'm all for it. I was ready. I, I, you've been dropping profound information this whole fucking podcast. I don't know. I may well agree, though. Like, you can't just sort of live in this existence of, oh, I'm not good enough. Or whatever, you know? Like, I'm not good enough. I just, I don't like talking about myself. Me, I think I'm fucking awesome you know, t- in general because I'm fucking cool. Okay, hey, so this is like I haven't heard this part of you before. <laughs> <laughs> We've not heard that yet. <laughs> so tell us about that. Um, I'm, yep. That was it. That was there you go, and you've gone quiet again. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever challenged me on that. They usually just accept it and leave it at that. He's just getting destroyed, Austin. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's actually a good question. Like. I don't know how you build confidence in someone because, like, I've always just had it. So I, I have no good advice to offer you on uh, becoming more Giga Chad outside of just <laughs> be Giga Chad. I mean, yeah, I think it's probably to do with experiencing uncomfortable situations, right? Um, I mean, in what? In, if you're what constantly you forced to learn and grow, yeah, then you're going to be more comfortable when the like. Here we go. Gamify it. Austin, you start playing a new video game. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, and you're at the early levels, and it's like, there's, fuck it, there's heaps of studies on this. You're at the early levels, and it's all challenging, and you're dying or whatever, but you keep trying, and you're getting better and better and better. Three years later, or three months or weeks or whatever later, you come back to the early levels, and it's fucking easy. Okay. And that's because you've learned the mechanics of the game. That's part of it. The other part of it is because you've experienced more difficult things. So when there are more mechanics and stuff involved, you can deal with the simple stuff way easier. And that, that's really transferable to, I don't know, fucking life, um, where if you deal with some complex shit and you have to go back and deal with some more simple stuff later on, it's, it's going to be easier. I mean, I it's guess. It's like playing an easy level again. I don't know, man. Why did this turn into the Let's Work Life Advice podcast? I love it, though. Um, well, we can't just be talking about fucking getting drugged at EDC and Chick Fil A all the time. Easy well, we've got to, to entertain, entertain me, surprised. my audience. Um, I, you actually said something there that like um, 
that I think about all the fucking time where like, um, so people will oftentimes confuse inexperience with like stupidity and it drives me up the fucking wall. So like, yeah. um, so for example, I play a lot of fucking shooters and I, well, I used to, and it's like a three year break and I'm getting back into it and I'm getting a lot of my friends who've never played shooters into shooters. And like, they always like stream in discord so you can watch them and yeah. watching their ability to parse out information and react to things is like, at a surface level glance, the immediate thought is like, oh, you're retarded and you've got brain damage because how the fuck are you like processing this information so slow? It's like, no, no, guys, you have, you know, 12 fucking years of shooter speed. The foundational information you have when you log into a game and like your speed at which you can process information is light years different than someone first stepping into a shooter for the first time where it's like... Oh, God, yeah. Like the yeah. ability to like just passively pay attention to your like radar or your mini map and that's just like in your peripheral and you're you're not even thinking about it you're just good at referencing it whenever for someone who's never fucking played a shooter they have to think about looking at their fucking mini map and now that's where their attention is and then like they, they can't just like parse brain it out you know or, or like another example of it is there's two things one of them is looking though when you first look like run into a new game how much time do you spend looking at the gun yeah. Wow, that's so cool on my screen. Instead of looking at the crosshair. And then also, like, where the crosshair is. Yeah. You know, crosshair placement's a massive part of it. Austin, like, yeah. you'll have picked this up whatever game you play. Like, if you play Call of Duty or Counter-Strike or Halo or whatever, you start off with crosshair placement and it's sort of trash and then you learn. Whenever you go to a new game, like, you're going to be putting it in the right place. 100%. No, I, I agree with that. Like, w without a doubt. I just... When it comes to me being able to like speak on past experiences, I just my brain don't work that way. I don't do words good. Is it because you're embarrassed? No, I just I my mind is constantly going a million miles a minute, so I just don't know how I yeah. I don't know. ADHD go burr. Is it because you think that you're trying to answer with a right answer? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So I'd let go of that part of it. Oh, okay, thanks. Just, I'm fixed. just sometimes you just have to start talking and then hopefully, you know, you weave a yeah, well, coherent sentence. Your ADD brain will be like, okay, words, and then they'll make sense. No, I ended up just, I end up just looking stupid like 99% of the time. You might think that, but probably not. Well, yeah, there are, there are very few times when I've had conversations with you where you've made incoherent nonsense and like you're generally a, a you don't sound retarded most of the time. Good job. For what that's worth. This is, this is just turned into let's just he's so he's so uncomfortable. <laughs> right now, I love it. <laughs> I'm, so I'm living in this moment. Just let's overanalyze everything that Austin does. We're not overanalyzing it, dude. We're just talking about it. Yeah. But we can stop if you want. It's whatever you want, Austin. I'm here for you, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> See, if it wasn't you, it would be Jit right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Whenever you no, think about how would, uncomfortable it, you are right now. Remember that Jit be is a dumb motherfucker that can't exist on good times. I, the, the oh god, I, sometimes I want to kill Jit, okay? I fucking, every time I've tried to, like, we're supposed to have, like, a specific time we fucking do this thing, and Jit just is everywhere all the time. It, oh, and, and it's like, what he, does he do? Um... That's a great question. I have no fucking idea. He <laughs> he like design he designs things for like a uh, like engineering shit. I don't fucking know the exact yeah. details. He he fucking makes a thing and then like a CNC machine makes the thing he drew. Um his so, work is never the reason he can't show up, by the way. It's not like he's busy at work. He is just like, sorry, I was making eggs for four hours. <laughs> what the fuck? Making a souffle. <laughs> and then um well it's like it's become a running bit because like he would like will jokingly be like, no, Dylan is the most unreliable person. Like he's just never around. And then people yeah. fucking believe him. And they're like, they're like, oh, like, oh, is the reason this episode is late? It's like, cause you just like Dylan was fucking around. And he's like, absolutely. I'm just like, I fucking hate this <laughs> bit so much. I try so hard to be a reliable individual. Yeah, it was kind of a Jamie. hassle to like plan out the first episode. I like I remember Dylan was just like, whenever it works, and I'm like, Jit. When would work for you to record so like you're good to go? And he's like Monday. Come Monday is like okay Tuesday. Come Tuesday is like maybe Thursday. I don't. I'm just like, oh my god. 
Yeah, it's so like like pick a time and we will make it work. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so th that's how Look I work. It's like as long as it's not during like these specific brackets where I know that every week I'm doing something, I will make the time for it. You know, it's not like like yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not too busy for a fucking like hour conversation, right? Like, I mean, that's why you're here at the moment, Austin, is because I was too busy Monday through Friday. Yeah, <laughs> that's and fine. He also lives in New Zealand, so the time is like um super wonky. Living in the future, baby. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, cause cause I asked Jit last night, and Jit was like, "I can probably make it." And then I immediately texted Austin. And I said, "When Jit inevitably can't make it, <laughs> that is are exactly you down to fill?" Because um. I, we we did two of these where I, it was just me and Jit, and I realized that having three people is like you just two people is so much harder if the like the guest you I, I think you and I could do a two person podcast very easily, uh, but sometimes you get guests that just are not very talkative, and so you yeah. you have to have like a third person that can interject. That way it's like if I step away to like go let my dog out for whatever fucking reason I don't know why I would do that in the middle of the show, but um. You know, or if I throw my chapstick as hard as I can at a wall and have to walk away, you know, Jit and Austin yeah. <laughs> talk Good boy. Yeah. Or there's a the, the we've got a fill because there's a guy staring at you through your window. That was oh a good my bit. yeah. So <laughs> there's a window right here, like two feet. So in the Midwest, these people are like they're not on crack, but they're in the basement. Yeah, but they act like crackheads. Yeah. So he like this dude's just walking and he sees me like talking and he just stops. And stares at me. And I look up and I stare at him. <laughs> and we're just making contact. And I'm like, hey, buddy. And he waves at me. And I try and go back. And he's just sitting there staring at me. And I'm just like, okay. Uh, guys, please hold. I have to stare at this man until he leaves. And so we just locked eyes for like 20 seconds. I just kept waving. And eventually he just left. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what? It's my the matrix broke for a second. Yeah, like it's my fault because there are curtains on this window, but I like natural light a lot. So I open these curtains to like let the light in. And um it lets people stare at me. Yeah. So yeah. I, I brought that on myself. But fuck that guy. All right. I don't know which fuck of my neighbors guy. he is, but fuck that guy. I don't In the past you have just pulled a gun out, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where my uh, I think all my guns are upstairs now. I don't have like a, a fucking desk weapon, you know. <laughs> so weird your revolver that had fucking snake shot on it or something I, I like, still have what? that one that's, that's my desk weapon dude you the, never know yeah. or the two weeks that I lived with Dylan I walked in and I was staying in Cody's room and he goes there's a gun here there's a gun here there's a gun here yeah. he opens the closet there's four more guns and I'm just yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with yeah, these I, you never know when you gotta get your load out <laughs> you know Okay. <laughs> the Russians, the, the fucking, the elites fucking crash their little pods into the ground. They start hopping out their plasma rifles. G gotta get your gap, bro. We gotta defend the, the earth. But, One of my uh, my biggest regrets of my American trip is that we didn't get to go shooting. It, it would have been great. Wait, you probably really came fun. to the best fucking house if you wanted to go shooting. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. And then, oh. It yeah. is what it is, man. Yeah. Well, that just means you need to plan another America trip. True. Yeah, and I have to fucking meet you, Austin. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Just fucking, you'll come down for my birthday for like two days, and you could fucking meet all the yeah. other monkeys I know. And uh, God, that trip and then was the third fantastic. day is a therapy session. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be likely that I'll um, I'll be going to Canada. Nice. To work in a, like a year and a half. Fuck so. yes. Do you know why that's good? Why? We can finally play shooters on the same ping. Oh my god. It'll actually be used great. To, oh, fuck. Shoot. Okay, so this is like the the most painful thing about where I live is whenever I want to play with any of my friends overseas, it's like the internet needs to travel across the Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. instantly 200 ping. Instantly you just just so many things just going wrong. Um, Yeah, pain. Painful it's, existence. It still blows my fucking mind that that's a thing, though. There's a fucking tube under the ocean that shoots I know. fucking yeah. lights, <laughs> and it lets our computers fucking talk to you. That's insane to me. Like, yeah. Like, for whatever reason, continental United States makes sense to me. I can grasp that concept, you know? Yeah. But there's a fucking giant fucking tube that goes across the fucking Pacific Ocean. And that fucking my brain can't comprehend that. Like, how deep is it? Yeah. Like, is it under the, 
No one knows. <laughs> how, how is like a fish not eating it? And it's like, ah, oh, New Zealand's gone. F a fish uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like, again. like, we'll be back. Like, we gotta. And then it's like, say shit does get fucked up. Like, how do you know where the, where it's fucked? Do you know how big the ocean is? There's so much of it. Like, yeah. Is it one tube or are there several tubes? Like, I'm pretty sure it's one large tube. I, from what I remember, it's filled with smaller tubes of like the actual cabling so for like redundancy. So if a fish were to eat it, it would be fine. Just be Adam's house that gets head offline. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, how the fuck did that even get built? It like, imagine the spool, dude. <laughs> so like as a younger person before i got into construction i would look at these giant skyscrapers and i'd be like how did this get built and then after having worked on a lot of these buildings i'm like oh i know it got built it's like annoyingly this is how it got built i my brain yeah. can't grasp the underwater shit that's like the part ow. that confuses me is like i don't understand how we continuously get faster like internet speeds and things like that but we don't have to switch out those fucking cables. Maybe they do. There's no way that they redo the cabling that crosses the ocean because we went from Cat 5E to Cat 6. No, I think the cabling that crosses the ocean is is probably, has always been... I can't imagine it's copper. I can't imagine it's copper because how much fucking raw copper metal is there <laughs> they're just sitting inside of a tube that's what I'm saying like, there's fiber so optic across they, the ocean for don't sure tell crackheads about it now <laughs> yeah, just goes back and for a swim so the, the, like well there cause like the, uh, this is gonna show how fucking retarded I am okay <laughs> the internet yeah, answer, question. is a bunch of blinking lights and that shit goes to your computer and like the sequence in which it blinks it gives your computer information, and then that, it makes it on your screen. That part makes sense in my head. It's like yeah. ping. Is that, like, is our ping capped? Like, no matter what, are you always just going to be a 200 ping Andy if you're an NZ and I'm in North America? Well, no. So, one of the good things about um, Skynet, is that mm -hmm. the Elon thing? Yeah, yeah, satellite show. Um, is it cuts ping in half? Generally oh, speaking. So okay. I'll be playing on like maybe 80, 90 ping if I was playing on an American server using that. Nice. But the baseline ping to New Zealand servers is higher. Yeah. So oh, yeah. so, that, so there is a way. Like, there's a future where like 30 years from now, there will be some like dickhead New Zealanders playing with some dickhead Americans and their yeah. ping is like relatively fine. Probably. Can you imagine what it would look like if you could see data? I think I, my brain, my eyes would melt out. My face would melt like the guy in the air Jones. You have a seizure, like, immediately. Like, the amount of, like, bits of information yeah. just flying off, like, to my phone. It would just be like a fucking... It would look like a star, probably. Yeah. <laughs> fucking absorbing everything. Yeah. It, like it's Just like a... There's a, a trend going around right now. It's like, what would you tell to... Or, like, if you could bring a Victorian... A child to the future. What would you show them that the would gritty. make their head explode? God damn it, Dylan! Make them hit, them, make them hit the gritty. Yeah, just like Pornhub. cell phones in general. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a, that's a solid one. Yeah, I, yeah. The, why is why is her brother stuck? Yeah. Oh yeah, no hentai. Actually, I think hey, hentai is the correct answer. Like, like not like. Yeah. Listen, son. Okay, you've been jacking off to your thoughts. Okay, that's kind of cringe. Now we could show you real people, but that's also kind of cringe. Instead. I got some anime titties, okay? And then you send that kid back. They're never going to believe him. His fucking life is ruined. He's just going to be scrawling in his room, drawing fucking... Fucking mad like Vincent van Gogh did. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, they kept crossing their eyes and sticking their tongue out. I don't know yeah. what was going on. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Like, God. I... There's so much existential shit like that that it's just not even worth thinking about. Like, okay, so consciousness is another one. Mm -hmm. like, oh, fuck uh, you. God damn it. I'm, re no, I'm ready. Fucked. I'm so ready. No, like, it's just, it's just fucking weird because yeah. all we are is a bunch of atoms yep. comprised of various, well, like, atoms. carbon and okay. atoms and atoms. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Atoms, atoms. Atoms, apple. Um, just like, that we are comprised of billions and billions and billions of molecules. Yeah. That, that's it. First of all, is fucked, and the fact that we're um, we eat some food and it digests and yep. 
it gets broken down into composite parts and then our body goes, oh, shit, we need some more DNA over here. We'll make some of that yep. doing mitosis all over our body. Um, I forget. I think there's there's a rate at which like 90% of your body is not what it used to be. Yeah, it's like, like I it's think all it's new. like seven years is what they seven always say. Years, yeah. But that's fucked. Yeah. Yeah. It's so I I got very high a couple weeks ago and I messaged Dylan. Uh, let me find it exactly can you, what can, I said. Can you read the messages? Oh, fuck, where was it? Now, it was, the problem Dylan, is I, I think you. that I come off as a higher person as the sober person when I respond to these messages because I I'm, oh, my really? mind is always like if you say some wild shit to me, I'm just you gonna just start method acting. Yeah, I'll fucking I'll relate. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Dylan, I'm high as fuck. Me too. Yeah, yeah shut me up, man. Um, but you know, like, like I think about that where it's like the most retarded person you know is like still one of the most complex organisms in the entire like universe. Ah, this is another one. The fact that everyone that you know was the fastest sperm. Well, well that's oh, not even true you. though, right? Because isn't it like um, I, I thought like you're like the 90th fastest sperm, right? Because don't like some of them like there's a barrier that they got to break, so you know. The faster guys were out there just fucking okay, fuck it. I was the, the most successful sperm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there are some I, okay. fucked up people out there. Well, and they like, are the ones. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's like raw RNG, right? It's not like you as the sperm, like had a good portfolio and like did your sperm tax as well. And that's why you got chosen for the egg, right? You just fucking win for it, homie. And you fucking hit that egg like in stride. <laughs> yeah. So I messaged Dylan on uh, November 20th at 10.45 and I said, have you ever just thought like I as a human person, I'm really just the brain, not like the whole body and Dylan responded, not me I'm a little skeleton archer Hell yeah well, Yeah, because yeah, cause I always think about like, um, everyone's like yeah, you're just a brain, it's like nah, motherfucker I'm a skeleton, dude, I'm a little, I'm a little ske- like the brain, dude, he's just re- he's just taking a ride I'm a, little, I'm a little skeleton I've never thought that before Hell yeah, brother! Well, because I, I you think you're just like a brain pulling strings, literally with like muscles. No, not even muscles. that. You're not even your brain. What do you mean you're not your brain? I, I know well, okay. Saying. Like your brain is just a whole lot of tissue, brain I matter, think. and yeah. tissue yeah, and yeah. stuff that has neurons that are firing. Okay, and then we can also get into the topic of like. Everything in history that has ever happened has a, led to us three sitting in this fucking Discord call. Yeah, no. So I, I, unjo- I do think about that where it's like, like I don't want to raise a child, but I like the idea of having a kid because it's like you are an unbroken line since the dawn of humanity, and I like the idea yeah. of continuing that. Well, I guess biologically, that's sort of what you're supposed to do, hey? Yeah, but there are a lot of people that don't want to like fucking make kids, and oh, of course, I don't want kids. Yeah, like. Um, uh, shit. But the part of it, like, so my mum had a mum, had a mum, had a mum, yeah. all the way back. I'm the first person, yeah, in that line to not be a girl. You know, like I broke that chain. Yeah, where'd he go, dickhead? Yeah, yeah. fuck. <laughs> had to be different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You just fucking had to. Yeah, but the just... RNG of that, if you if you want to do the stats, is like however many generations to the power of two. Yeah, like. Or two to the power of however many generations. I just said, yeah, I have no fucking idea what you're talking about, but sure. <laughs> I can't do math. Math is not our specialty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, hum, just the human condition is like fucking fascinating to me. And like, yeah. th- there are some. So I, I talk about Ethel, my, my friend Ethel, but all the time about like the human condition and like, like the meta of like thoughts and like. Mm-hmm. where ideas come from and, and it's very nice anytime you can sit down with someone and like can just really fucking hash out like why do you think x because like like for me I, i've always thought about like i would love to know where a thought or character trait comes from like what was the defining moment that like created x character trait yeah so like um i, I don't have a good example because i'm trying to like think back to the conversation we had so it's like a- Athel talked about like I think he's a great conversationalist. I enjoy talking to this guy, but he, as a younger person really struggled being able to hold conversations. So he like yeah. would go online and look up how to have a conversation. And like, really? So he's got like all these like buzzwords, like, like like terms, like clinical terms for like, like conversation threading. And like, he, he was just dropping fucking nomenclature. I'd never heard. 
And like in his mind, so I, I think he's a great conversationalist. In his head, he thinks that I'm a great conversationalist, but I can't define any of what I'm doing. It just naturally happens for me, right? I just fucking yeah. talk, and generally I'm like, most people have a good experience talking to me. And it's like, how did that come to pass? Like, what, what were the differences in Athel and I's upbringing that, like, resulted in, like, me being good at having conversations naturally? And well, I, then you're sort of getting into the, the realm of nature versus nurture, which yeah, is, yeah. like, one of the most debated yeah. psychological topics of all time. Yeah. So, but, but I'm just built different is, you know. <laughs> no, or you learned different, but or we don't both, know. both, you know? Who knows? I it could be... Both. Yeah. It just, do you guys ever have the thought where it's like, you as a person, you have your whole like life and what you've gone through and whatever and blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and then you think about all of the other people in the entire world that are having the same exact fucking like mm. interactions and thoughts. This is it's, gonna well, it's just like it's the like that everyone else is going through their own shit. Like that gets me every once in a while where I'll just think about it. Eh. And it me just like a slow tear. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> You'd be um, so, not everyone processes information the same way at the same speed in the same way. There are a lot of NPCs out there, dog. Like, oh no, oh, trust God, me, yeah. I know. But that's what that's what I'm saying is like, even though there's a lot of NPCs out there, they're still they still are like living their own life that has nothing to do barely, with their life. Fucking <laughs> barely, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I I think about that a lot. Where it's like, this is how I like humble myself. Okay. And it's like, it's weird to humble yourself in this way because you're actually like elitism in humbling yourself, right? We're like, I'll look at my KD in the shooter. I'm like, damn, I got like a two and a half KD. I'm balling. But I'm like, oh, yeah, but it's like not really a two and a half KD. A lot of the guys that I kill fucking suck. So like, you know, we'll take those away. So I'm actually not even that. I'm not as good as everyone else has got a two KD, you know? Because like a lot of the guys, like I, I was there when I shot these morons. They fucking sucked half the time, you know? So yeah. like I'm not as good as everyone else with a two KD where it's like, well no, they killed the same fucking retards you did. But <laughs> I don't know, like anytime I have like an accomplishment where like I'll be like a cause like a, every game nowadays has percentiles that you can like look up your shit, right? So you like, yeah. oh like I'm in like the top one percent or whatever. It's like, well yeah, but I'm not like in really in the top one percent because like, you know, this shit's really fucking easy. So how the fuck could I be in the top 1%? It's like, this is the wrong data. And it's like, no, like some people just suck. It turns out there are just some people that suck. And, you know, I try not to count them in my data because they suck. When the Queen's Gambit came out, I started playing chess. Me too. Um, do you still play? Uh, on occasion. And we should play. Um, but, like, I got to whatever top X percent on yeah. chess.com. And I'm like, but there's still people that are just so much better than me. One of my friends, um, he's a, a grandmaster, and we played a game together, and he had 30 seconds, and I had three minutes, and he fucking yeah. wiped me off the board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's just so annoying, because I'm like, I consider myself quite a well, like relatively intelligent person. I am good at gaming, um, so I should have good mouse control, but he just fucked me, like, yeah. so raw. And it's, like, really humiliating, but also humbling. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, so I kind of get it. Like, there's there's just there's levels to this shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and Miss this Miss shit baby. is everything. Yeah. Where, yeah. yeah. The, the, you know, the, the disparity between, like, the top 1% of the 1% and yeah. the, like, fucking 50 percent of to like 99 yeah. percent is like night and day like the minutia of like just so much shit um and, and I, i'm always thinking about this whenever i'm playing a shooter where i'm like you know I'll, I'll like there'll be some move i pull off where i'm like god that was fucking disgusting what i did but to the average person they're like you just shot that guy it's like no buddy he, you don't understand i didn't just <laughs> yeah. shoot that guy you know like, I just finished killing that other guy, and I was paying attention to my ammo count and the fucking minimap here, and I heard his fucking footsteps, so I pre-sprayed this fucking corner, and he walked into it like a fucking monkey. And they're like, no, you just shot yeah. that guy. And it's like, well, yeah, I, I did just shoot him, but there was, like, there was other <laughs> shit that happened, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, uh, I, 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 anytime I see someone who's really good at something, I always try and, like, learn from them. Um even if it's like something I don't fucking understand. Like I have friends who are really good at rocket league. And if they want to talk to me about the nitty gritty of rocket league, I will gladly listen. Cause there might be something I can extract for either my personal life or like to just use in shooters of like, 
you know, oh, I look for X, like, tell. And it's like, oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. I, I, but then, like, the, 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 the inverse of it, and what you were saying earlier about bots is relevant, you know? Like, there are so many just people who are just fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> like, really, really stupid out yeah. there. Yeah, absurdly dumb. Me being one of them. Hell yeah, really. Sorry? I said me being one of them. See, there's your lack of confidence thing coming in again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking talking about this. <laughs> but like on chess.com, there are people like, I don't know what, what ELO you are, Austin, so I don't want to be offensive, but like people that are, I don't know, 800 ELO or 500 ELO. It's, it's a me shit probably. just fucking suck. Well, so like, yeah. I was like, are they thinking when they're playing the game? or like... So I think about this all the time. Because So the immediate cope answer is people are like, well, no, like they, they just don't care. They're not invested in it. You know, they're just, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they actually apply themselves, and my response yeah. is, no, stop. There, yeah. are, there are people who, if they're applying themselves, are 800 chess players. 800 rated. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, some people just don't grasp and it's sad, their knowledge. But it's true. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I had a long conversation with my friends about this. He, like, couldn't grasp his mind around, like, no, 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 like, if you apply yourself to something, you're good at it. And it's like, no. 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 Sometimes you can try really fucking. There are people with like thousands of hours in League of Legends and they're trying the entire <laughs> time and they're silver too. Okay? Yeah. And it's like you can coach them all you want, but everyone has a different peak. Okay? And some people peak at silver too. Okay? And we need those people because I need someone to fucking farm. All right? And it's just, ah, oh, I, I, I feel bad for the, like, the legitimate Silver 2 players out there. Like, if you're playing, like, every once in a while and you got shit rank, it's whatever. But there are people that are logging in every day, playing for five hours. Yeah. Play Silver 2. It's like, God yeah, damn, bro. Dead. Austin, what's your chess.com or Lee Chess rating? Uh, I don't remember. I think uh, last time that I... Yeah. No, I, I, it's not good. It's not good. I want to say I'm, yeah. like mid to uh, high 500s or 600s it's not good but okay I, no you I, I, you have to be better than that you have to be better than that <laughs> you'd think oh no adam's about to destroy I feel, his confidence so... <laughs> after building him up for so long adam's <laughs> like yeah any fucking retard can do uh oh wait what rating are you oh fuck oh, no. <laughs> no i just i I will say I, I've gotten better, but I, I really I went from not playing chess at all to trying to play against randoms. Austin, we're gonna play a game of chess right now. Oh no, please don't. Uh, listen, don't I'll stream it. it. I'll stream it listen, on. Listen, no, I don't listen, want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. We, 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 we will end the podcast here because we're like forty two minutes longer than we need to be, and you guys can go play chess. Oops. It's gonna be everything's fine. Don't do this. Bye, May. Goodbye, May. <laughs> Bye, May. <laughs>